the applications of action learning are so universal that it's, you cannot describe one single method. But the central idea is that people who are in real trouble can help each other. A chap called Leonard Cheshire, who was a wartime pilot and for whom the nation subscribed a lot of money, said in founding the Cheshire Homes, the best way to deal with your own troubles is to go to somebody else's help. And action learning forms sets of comrades in adversity, people who recognize that they have really difficult problems. And action learning encourages these people to work together on their own, and mainly on their own, but also on each other's problems, meeting regularly to discuss what it is they think they're trying to do, what is stopping them from doing it, and what they can do about it. And providing there are not experts there with prefabricated solutions, which might have been perfectly valid in some other conditions altogether, then these comrades in adversity, since they all believe that what they need is real help, will very soon help each other. So it's a set of comrades in adversity, which is the foundation of action learning. Yes, of course, there can be no learning without the inspiration of somebody who can, who impresses you and from whom you're going to learn. But the fundamental difference is this, that in a changing world, it is extremely important that people should be masters of the art of posing questions. When nobody knows what's going to happen next, you must have the skill to ask questions which are likely to get you somewhere. So all training, all development, contains two elements. First, getting new knowledge, which already exists, but you were not aware of, something that you would get hold of in a, a new lecture, by a new advisor, by reading a new book, by going to a new program. Of course, you must acquire fresh, what I call programmed information, P. But the need of us all today is not so much to get more expert knowledge, it is to get a very much more penetrating ability to ask questions of the unknown in which we are all now plunged. And the fundamental difference is that the learning in action learning is a small amount of P, program knowledge, and a large amount of Q, the ability to ask penetrating questions. So it's, it's the difference of the balance between what you are being instructed to do by experts and what you are finding out you need to do for yourself.